got Ash and Judy, the Catahoula Leopard's dog, here at Lifestyle Obedience, training for the real world. I'll show you a little bit of the leash work. Before I do just about anything with dogs, I want them paying attention. So, technically, I should not be able to get in a position where either dog can't see me. They keep readjusting. I keep trying to sneak out of their line of vision. They keep saying, nope, i got to keep my eyes on you. That tells me they're ready to take it. instruction down. Thank you. Thank you. Good. I like touching dogs to have them do my obedience so that when I get that, I can let her know, hey, my hand is allowed to go on you, but your mouth is not allowed to go on me. Very important to handle your dogs into obedience. It's a very important thing that's been taken out of dog training. We don't touch our dogs anymore, and then we're surprised they start biting us. They should submit to our handling. Very good, very good, good, very good, good, very good, yay, very good, Judy, Judy, good girl, down, while I'm walking, she stops and she lays down, Ash, Ash, good, good, very good, down, good, Judy, 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 good girl, down, Judy, <laughs> down, that's the hand signal for down, Judy, good girl, good girl, good, down, I want life to happen and train them at the same time, I'm not going to avoid this, these antics. Uh, Ash, good, good, very good. Okay, yay, okay. Good dog. Ah, ah, ah. Don't be chasing Doodlebug. Ash, hey, come on. Good boy. Down. Uh -uh. He's thinking about it. Thank you. If you hear it, you're supposed to do it. Okay. God bless you at Lifestyle Obedience.